If you are watching this video, then you are no stranger to hard work. Mathematics is hard. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes energy. And anyone who studies math, physics, computer science, engineering, or any other hard subject, they know the importance of hard work. But sometimes being aware of that importance of hard work and working hard is just not enough. There are still some mistakes you can make and some pitfalls you can take. In this video, we're going to address some of those. This video is 100% inspired by an email I received from a subscriber here on the channel. This person needs help. This email is fairly recent. So I thought I would start this video by going over their email and then doing my best to answer it. I've glanced at the email. I haven't read it fully. I kind of just glanced at it. So I do have some advice. But as always, if you have advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section below. When you leave comments, it helps other people who read the comments. And people from all over the world read the comments. OK, I'm going to start the email here. I'm going to leave this person's name out of it. And the subject is simply overworking. That's all it says. Hey, I want to ask you about overworking. I'm a student at high school in Czech Republic, and my biggest interest is math and physics. I'm also a b-boy, breakdancer, and I'm trying to train a lot. My biggest problem is I'm having so much tasks to do at once. Sometimes I just break down, not knowing what to do. I teach breakdance. I teach math, I edit videos, and I'm trying to pass other subjects at the same time I want to learn. I'm watching your videos, Three Blue, One Brown, and others that I find useful and interesting. But then I don't have time to do other tasks, and it becomes so hard. I hope all this makes sense. Forgive me for mistakes in language, and thank you so much for what you are doing. And then he signs his name. So first, let me just say, I sincerely, sincerely thank you for your email. This is a really good email. And I do have something I really want to say about this email. So first, I think it's great that you want to learn math and physics. That's really good. I also think it's especially cool that you are a b-boy, a breakdancer. That is super cool. I can sit there on Instagram and let my mind wander and watch little dancing videos all day long. Um, so. Yeah, that, that's really cool. However, one of the things that happens, and this is happening to you, and I've seen it in a lot of students, is that people tend to spread themselves too thin. So I want to put it that way instead of overworking. Basically, what you're doing is you're spreading yourself too thin. You are taking on multiple responsibilities and trying to do really well in all of them, which is fine. You could do that. but it's hurting you, right? And I know it's hurting you because you sent me an email about it. <laughs> so, and I've been in this situation before. So let me just tell you my situation and then I'll tell you what you can do. When I started college, I was working. And I know a lot of people who watch this video, they're working and they're in college. I couldn't do it, right? I thought if I keep my job, there's no way I'm gonna be able to study mathematics and get the grades I want. So I quit my job. You might say, well, that's nice. You quit your job. I did. But I took out loans. And then that's how I proceeded. Right? So I finished college. I had a bunch of debt. Um, I paid it off. And here I am now. So that was my path. I'm not saying you should do that. I'm not saying you should you know, quit a bunch of stuff and quit working and take out loans. But I cut back right away because I knew, I knew that my performance in mathematics would suffer if I had this horrible job that I was working you know, take my time away from me. So my advice is cut back on some of the things you're doing. You should sit down with, with a pen or a pencil and make a list of your priorities. You already said math and physics. Those are, those are priorities. That's your biggest interest right now. Also, I, I really do think, I mean, it's just my opinion. I think your b-boy thing, the breakdancing thing, I think that's cool. right? I think you should keep that up. That's unique. A lot of people can't do that. Okay, You have some type of gift or ability or skill, whatever. You can do it, and that's big. 
Okay, that's really, really big. Don't let anyone take that away from you. So the break dancing is super awesome. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I almost think it's cooler than your interest in math and physics because it's so unique, right? It's so unique. Uh, too bad you can't incorporate math and physics into that. But it's different, it's an outlet, it's exercise, it's good for you, so I think that's great. Yeah, cut back on some stuff and prioritize. Make that list, right, of, of the things you really want to focus on. And, you know, you're not the only one, you're not alone. I, I want you to know that there's a bunch of other people in the world like this. In fact, when I first started teaching, I remember talking to students in my statistics class. This was years ago when I first started, and I remember feeling like, wow, these, these poor students, like a lot of them have jobs, right? And they're taking three, four classes and they're doing extracurricular things and they're in clubs and I'm like, no, <laughs> so it's too much. You gotta focus on your classes, right? You gotta get good grades and, and it's important. And it's not, I'm not saying it's not important to do other stuff, right? You know, if I look back on my college years, my biggest regret is probably not doing more extracurricular things and more social stuff. Now, to a point, right? You want to do it to the point where it doesn't interfere with your grades. So prioritize your grades as you should. Keep up with the breakdancing and everything else. Um, yeah, make that list and cut back. Pretty cool. If anyone else has advice for this person, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, I don't know much about the Czech Republic and their system, but if anyone knows, uh, leave a comment there as well. What do you think? Do you have any advice for this person? Leave a comment. And if you want to learn math, check out my courses. They are on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. But if you get them, please use the links from the description of this video for two reasons. One, it helps me greatly. And two, I've lowered the prices. So you are, will get a low price. You should get a low price. Key takeaway from this video should be that, you know, life is hard. Math is hard. Going to college is hard. And when you're doing something hard, like studying math or physics or engineering, it's going to take time away from other activities in your life. And if it doesn't, then you're going to suffer doing math and physics because it takes time, right? It takes an incredible amount of time. Just yesterday, I read an email from someone who they were spending four to five hours per section in a pre-calc book through self-study, which and that's a lot of time, right? But they were actually finishing the section, doing a lot of the exercises. And that's an example of how much time it takes to really get good at math. I mean, they were really getting it. They were, they were teaching themselves pre-calc and then taking tests in college and passing, right? But it was taking them four to five hours per section. So you see, that's just a simple example of sometimes how self-study can just take an incredible amount of time. Math takes time. So when you have something like math and physics, like you do, and you're trying to do other things, it's hard, it interferes. You know, math interfered with my life. When I was a student, I had to make huge sacrifices for math, right? I lost friends, relationships, probably not good, but it happens, right? It's life. So prioritize your time, try to make the best use of your time, and really make that list and focus on what you want. Take care.